Crafty K Bug, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these crochet headbands. They're so cute, especially the wide one. I love the wide one. I filmed this video a while back, and I'm just getting around to editing it, but I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. So to make these headbands, you'll be needing some yarn, a hook, some scissors, and a yarn needle. So let's get started. So to start, I'm going to take my yarn and my hook, and I'm going to chain the width that I want my headband to be. So I'm making this one not quite as wide as I made this one. And so I'm going to chain six, but it all depends on your yarn and how wide you want your headband to be. This is just a medium weight yarn. I'm using a five millimeter hook. So that's what I'm going to be chaining. So I'm just going to create a slip knot like so. Sticking my hook in and creating a chain of six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to go into the second chain for my hook. I like to do the top two loops, but that's preference, and then pull through the chain, and then pull through the two loops. I'm going to create an entire row of single crochet all the way across. So one more time, go into the chain, pull up loop, pull up two loops. Go into the next chain, pull up loop, pull up two loops, and so on, until I have five single crochets. You may have more or less depending on your chain. But now that I've done that, I'm going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And I'm going to turn my work. And so I count this chain as a stitch. So what I'm going to do is yarn over, go into the second stitch from the hook, so not this one. But this one, and create, oops, and create a double crochet. So pull through that loop, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. So now I'm going to chain one, yarn over, and then I'm going to skip this next stitch and go into the one after it. Through the stitch, pull through. Pull through two, pull through two. Again, chain one. Yarn over, and this time I'm going into that chain, that extra chain one, right there. So pull through that, pull through two, and pull through two. So now I have four of those stitches across, and it looks something like that. And so now I'm going to chain three again. So one. two, and three. Turn my work around. And now, skipping all of this, I'm going to go into the top of this double crochet. So yarn over, go down in there, pull up that, and then pull up two loops, and pull up the next two loops, like so. Now we're going to chain one more. Go into the top of this next double crochet, so yarn over, go in, and do a double crochet. Chain one. And then what we're going to do is skip one of these chains here, because this is our chain three. So we're going to skip this first chain and go into the second one. Oops. Yarn over first. Go in there. One, two, and two again. So you have something that looks about like that. Do the same thing, chain three, and we're just going to repeat this until the headband is as long as we want it. So I'm going to do it one more time. So chain three, turn your work, yarn over, go into the top of your double crochet, make a double crochet, chain one, yarn over, go into the top, make a double crochet. Chain one, yarn over, skip the first chain, go into the second chain here, pull through that, and make a double crochet. So you're just going to keep doing this until this is as long as you need it, and I'll tell you how many rows I do when I come back.
Alright, so I ended up, ended up doing 28 rows of double crochet. And so, if you're not sure how long you need to make it, you can do this next step, and before you tie it off, you can try it on and see if it fits. So, I'll be doing that as well to make sure that this works for me. So, what we're going to do now is chain one, turn our work, and we're going to make a row of single crochet across here. So I'm going to skip the first stitch and go into this next one, and I'm just going to go into the chain because I want one on every stitch. So I'm going to go into the double crochet and the chain, and then the double crochet, and then a chain. So once I have that, I'm going to fold this all in half and I'm going to slip stitch across all of these stitches. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you kind of want to match up your stitches here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my hook into this first chain and I'm going to do a slip stitch which is just yarn over and pull through both of them and then I'm going to go through my next stitch on this row and then the next chain here and then yarn over and pull through and then go through the next stitch and then you're going to go through the next chain and you're going to keep doing this all the way down. Okay, so this fits me pretty much perfectly. So I'm going to chain one and then take my scissors and cut off that, pull the chain through, tug that tight. And now I can tie these two ends together if they ended on the same side, yours may not have. But if they didn't, then you don't have to do this. But I'm just going to tie them together and then weave in these ends. Alright, so these are the two finished headbands and I hope you like them. I think they look really cute and this may be a great addition to your back to school wardrobe. So I hope you like it. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, feel free to comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Also, follow my Instagram, it's crafty underscore kbug, and subscribe here on YouTube so you can insert your username after crafty. If you make one, make sure to tag me in a photo on Instagram so I can see it, and I'll probably repost on my own. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!